what if we came in this planet with a dormant littleness or we feel insignificant we walked on this planet we existed we don't know why we are here there is no sense of purpose there is no sense of completion we just existed and one fun final day we want to exit this plane there is fear of exiting also fear of not knowing fear of incompletion and that is a constant struggle on this planet is there is a suffering which is basically lack of knowing through ignorance so what can help us know can all the knowledge put together help us so that means all we would do is sit on google 24 by 7 and acquire this knowledge as verbalization or a thought process how is this going to help us can knowledge really help us at the point of need can it release a panic attack by just knowing that you know there is a doctor available somewhere so what we are doing is through a kriya process we are helping this instrument to know it is possible through a experience of coming together so prana flowing through us first and foremost will help us realize that there is a higher possibility that this body was not just designed to go through a normal struggle of putting food in us body and experiencing digestion assimilation elimination and sustain this body only as a biological tool what if this body has a higher potential and we didn't know about it what if we don't know that there is a higher purpose of our being here and access the divine being status inside us and this human body is phenomenal it is given to us as a gift it's a calibrated tool of the higher beings this is a phenomenal i would say success of a design of a sacred geometry and this sacred sacred geometry has a power which we can't imagine through a biological process we can't imagine through a knowledge gathering process it has to be realized through an experiential first and then as a powerful full blown realization so to make that happen what can we do we first know that we have a mechanism called breath which is enabling us to access the prana the breath is not complete in itself remember we are accessing the oxygen which is 16% 78% is nitrogen so the exchange of gases is not highlight the real knowing is there's a small bit of prana which pe- penetrates through us and that prana is flowing in this body as light and that we are all light beings and if if we are already light beings why aren't we realizing it why are we struggling with pain suffering and limitedness so the yogic approach is to first help us realize through the process of purification we can cleanse and make this instrument light which is hagura and experience the prakasha which is the real light and going into the real par highest light which is pratikasha so the progressive journey of knowing the powerful happening through us is through yogic method so when we instead of telling you that you have to go through a just a cleansing of this body which is detoxification you have enabling the drains to be channeled allowing this body to become pure what will happen you will experience a freedom in flow and that flow could be in the blood which is flowing in through the veins that flow could be the neurotransmissions flowing in through the, the nerves and that could be the prana which is flowing in through the meridians so three stages of simplest of knowing which is not hard just by doing sadhana of kriya which is enabling us to access the power of these three flows if the blood is circulating fine you are vibrant you are channeled if your nadis are flowing fine you are illumined this is called tejas and if your uh, nerves are flowing fine if the neurotransmissions the body there is no nervous trouble there is a balanced peaceful uh, equanimity or you know that is what is we are bringing the kriya together and how to experience this prana there is a classical method of going through a hatha process which is to balance the sun and moon which is foundation from then getting the energy back into this so we have evolved a powerful way of doing the simplest fastest way to get the prana to flow upwards most people average people don't know that they have prana flowing in this body and even if they have no it is flowing in the body it is not channeled in the central column in the sushumna that means all the futile activity which you are doing like with the exercise is basically to help you just circulate energy in the body but not channel here our kriya that we are doing is to channel the energy into the spine into the sushumna nadi and attain the fastest possible knowing which is the see if you take a highway it's the shortest possible route to destination 
we are taking the first shor shortest possible way in through this highway and through it is a clarified knowing each time the energy rises it opens a certain lock, it opens a certain knot, it opens a certain gateway and that is awakening. So, stage by stage you are helping this instrument to calibrate and that calibration is what we are doing through a process of Kriya. It is a very fine tuned process of calibration and what happens in this calibration? The first the it is like a pilot train going in a track. The pilot train will go and check if the track is all right, if the nuts and bolts are all right, if there is no uh, struggle of the you know any infringement in this process. So, that means it is like a pilot state, the Mahaprana goes up and checks if this all the channels are open for Kundalini to rise. So, the first stage is sublimation of energies, the gross, the blood which is gross energy, virya which is sublimated energy from the, the seminal fluid which is can be uh, sublimated into virya shakti and then the ojas, the tejas which is the ojas is the lubrication part of it, the tejas is the light that illum illuminates this whole body. So, what happens? The stage by stage the kundalini will awaken it. How? The prana is attracted into this instrument. We are not sucking prana. Can we, if then we would be whole futile, whole day would be nothing but sucking prana. That means prana is attracted to us and this prana is attracted into the kundalini force, it dissipates across the body, disseminates across the body as mahaprana if it transfers into this spinal knowing. The spinal knowing which is aware of a beautiful process of connectedness. So, this awareness is possible. First is happens stage called stirring. You know that you have a kundalini inside you. How? Not by talking about it, but by feeling it. You will feel a stirring in the base of the spine. There is a tingling sensation, there is a swirling, twirling sensation. You will feel heat. I said, yes, I have heard about it, I read about it, now I can feel it. And the second stage would be an arousal, like a rumbling, that could turn on the engine and rev the accelerator, what happens? You know the engine is alive, arousal is like a revving the engine. It comes alive and says, yes, like a roar of a lion, you are alive and now you can rise. So, it first checks the system and says, what can it do? Then that is when the awakening is possible. The Kundalini says, yes, the creative intelligence within is alive. This Can this body be recorrect itself? So, that all the healing processes will happen. People, what people experience as a healing is actually nothing but cleansing, purification, detoxifications. Everything happens stage by stage and enables this body to be purified and ready for Kundalini to rise. Till then it is not rising. Till then it is only preparation. Kundalini is awakened but not risen. When will it rise? When the channels are clear and pure mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, when you know that you have a clear understanding that what you are going to do with that energy. It is an inner passion flow, it, there is a fire flow which wants to clarify you and know your highest knowing, that is, that is realization. Realization is that you are not this body, but you need to use this body as a mechanism to rise. And that is when the Kundalini rises in its glory, there are 325,000 sparks possible. So, if I tell you it happens in one way, then it would be very uh, subjective. We are not talking subjective, but to move to subjective awareness, the flow has to be in, internalized, rising. So, it is a very personal experience for each person. They cannot tell them what should happen. So, we leave the body in a highly calibrated state through a Kriya and then call upon the Kundalini, okay, rise in your own flavor, rise in your own expression, in your most beautiful way. Some may, somebody may become an artist through this process, somebody may experience a huge uh, love in their instrument which can experience as serving. So, we are not dictating people to tell what should happen. The creative ability of that intelligence will gather and the destiny can be shifted by this knowing. So, Kundalini rising is shift in the destiny from moving from limitedness, average struggler into a liberated being.